Hey everybody, I hope you guys are doing great out there. Don't forget to like and subscribe because we're trying to get those subscribers up. And today, we're going to take a look at something kind of utilitarian. This is the CalDigit USB 3 and Thunderbolt 3 hub. Ah, well, what's the big deal about this? I mean, there's a bazillion of these out there on the market. And you'd be right. You can get one for 50 bucks. And if you don't have any critical needs with it, it'll work fine. But if you want to do something like run real-time motion control, if you want to get maximum speeds out of your storage, and you have, say, a MacBook Air with only two precious Thunderbolt ports, then something like this suddenly becomes important. And you're like, well, yeah, but there's some really big hubs with all these ports on them. They've got card slots. That's great. That serves certain market uh, especially if you want to bring your laptop to your desktop plug in and you're all connected to your stuff uh, you can come and go easily and make one connection that's fine but for certain more specialized purposes like say a DIT cart motion control or other applications where you really need to be mobile and you're really looking for maximum speed and throughput the game changes a bit now I do have on the desk behind me an OWC hub, which I had taken a look at, and it's a great product, but it's pretty much Thunderbolt 3 only and one USB port, and I needed something a little different for what I'm building right now. So this guy I really like. It's got four full speed 10 gigabit USB ports, and it's got three full speed Thunderbolt ports. This is a connection that goes to the computer supporting the full 40 gigabit spec. So, of course, obviously, these Thunderbolt ports are going to be somewhat bandwidth limited, but, you know, depending on the peripherals you're running, um, this may not actually max out. But the bottom line is, this hub is designed to not max out. It's designed to give you the maximum bandwidth possible, the lowest latency, to whichever ports that you happen to have in the use. Now, something that's not obvious about this unit at all is it's not just a hub. It's also got a 150-watt power supply. And they really don't talk about this in the specs, but let's think about this. 150-watt power supply. So even if you want to use this on a very power-hungry laptop, no problem. You can power your laptop through the power supply, through the hub, back up through the supplied high quality Thunderbolt 3 cable and you just save yourself a connection. Now, yeah, in the case of MacBooks where you've got a MagSafe connector, that may not be such a big deal. But if you're also using one of your Thunderbolt ports as a power supply to power things up, um, that's really actually a big deal. It's very handy. And of course, if you've got some power hungry peripherals, you've got portable drives or other devices that also want to suck a good deal of power out of the system, this has got it. It's got you covered with 150 watts of power. And that's not something that these cheap ones have. Most of them either have no power supply, they simply pull power out of the computer, or you have to plug it in externally. And you have to be careful with the plugs and the ports on them because they're usually labeled, but it's not always obviously labeled. And it was such a frustration. I have this cheap $50 USB-C hub, which works fine for what it does, but the ports weren't necessarily clear. So I actually made some big labels on them, stuck it on, keep it simple because, you know, this CalDigit Thunderbolt 3 and USB hub is really a professional level product. It's no nonsense. It's full bandwidth. It's full power, it's low latency, it's just everything you want for a professional application and you're willing to pay a somewhat premium price for it. Minor minor things about this, I mean it's a fairly compact size, it's probably the size of a small phone. Um, it's got bumpers which they make a big deal out. It's got a pair of slots here and you can stick the bumpers in on either side so you can mount it whichever way you want. Okay, if that's the thing for you. Me, I'm probably actually going to put a pair of small Velcro tabs on this to lock this down on my cart so it doesn't slide around and I keep the connectors in. Other cool little points, the connectors in here go in with a nice clean connection. They're not loose and wiggly like some other products I've had. 
So there you go. This is a great product. Does what it says without any drama. And I'm all for no drama products. Don't forget to like and subscribe and see you next time.